Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play with AK, featuring me, your host Akukami. In this StarCraft 2 episode, we'll be taking a look at a game I played on Ladder. This is going to be a TVZ matchup on Entombed Valley. Starting off in the 5 o'clock position is me spawning as the Blue Terran player. Meanwhile, my opponent, Lydian, has spawned in the 11 o'clock position as the Red Zerg player. Entombed Valley is quickly becoming one of my favorite maps as the your natural is easy to take. All you have to do is just watch out for these uh, destructible rocks that, that can be broken down. And uh, actually, if you do break these down yourself, you can take your uh, third base in this location and defend it pretty well as there is a ramp leading into this location which you can defend. Uh, I did manage to play quite a number of games and I do have some new ones that I'm excited to cast. Uh, I still haven't been playing too many Terrans. The last Terran I played, he wasn't really that great. I managed to open uh, with Cloak Banshees and keep him contained to his base, and that's not really exciting. So, deciding not to do that one, uh, deciding instead to do this game, and I think uh, this one is decent as uh, I'm casting it. Going to be coming out with that uh, 10 supply depot and 12 racks, going to be completing the wall up in this location with another supply depot. Meanwhile, my opponent back at his base is going for that spawning pool and extractor, and as you can see on the mini map, there are no uh, no other expansions. What does that tell you? Hmm. Anyways, going to be scouting out with my SCV, sending my SCV, I think, yeah, into this location, going to be sending him uh, clockwise in this location, uh, going to be scouting him out here before scouting out here. Uh, my opponent will be sent, uh, sent his overlord in this location to uh, try and check if I'm there. We'll discover we'll, uh, that I'm not there and as such we'll be checking these two lo other locations. I don't exactly know if uh, you can spawn in certain locations or can't spawn in certain locations, and, but for the time being I'm assuming that you, your opponent can spawn in any of the three other locations. Uh, back at my base, going to be upgrading my command center into an orbital as I do finish the wall up in this location. I actually pulled down an SCV at 14 supply in order to start building this wall up as I did not want my opponent to catch that uh, I was going for a refinery here as at this point I was actually planning to do a 111 build and start harassing with cloak banshees and uh, vikings uh, using vikings to go overlord hunting. Uh, going to be scouting my opponent out, but he does discover that my CV is there and decides to chase it down with his zerglings. I did catch one of that and just decided to check in this location for a natural. There was no natural uh, expansion in that natural location, and uh, as such, I figured that he w at this point he was going for some kind of uh, early aggression, early one base aggression. What that was, I had I really had no idea, but. Uh, Normally, whenever I see my opponents go one base, uh, most of the time it's using a baneling bust, and I prepare with that uh, with tanks actually. As uh, you can see here, I put down a second factory, deciding to opt for uh, uh, um, two factories instead of uh, going for that one one one. As my opponent does place a late uh, expansion in this location here at his natural, going to be sending his zergs in zerglings into this location will be stopped by that wall off of course. As my opponent continues to gain uh, more map control, uh, more map vision, I should say, with his overlords. And going to be coming out with a Bailing nest, and like I said, most of the time when I see just one my Zerg opponent going on one base, I usually assume it's a Bailing bust. I'm going to be coming out with a Tech Lab on in here on my factory as I actually go for Hellions. I said I was going for tanks, but I decided to try something a little bit different. Uh, I've seen I've uh, watch replays uh, over the weekend where I saw Terran players going for mass hellions instead of tanks in order to deal with banelings and just uh, well yeah just banelings in general and inspired by that I decided to try it out for myself uh, will require some micro but I don't think that will be uh, too bothersome as uh, my micro is is bad but it's not that bad 
uh, going to be coming out with a reactor on this uh, factory as I do want to start pumping those Hellions out three at a time. I will actually sent my Marine into this location, uh, going to be checking for where my uh, opponent's uh, Zerglings would be hiding in order to morph. Uh, actually missing the Zelnaga Watchtower in the middle of the map, will be bringing my Marine uh, back to this location and checking out where that my opponent is morphing in Banelings in this location and as such, decide to pull my force away from the this wall off here actually this uh, decided to build engineering base instead of supply depots as engineering base do have uh, more HP and I also I believe they uh, begin uh, they build faster my opponent will be actually coming out with that first wave of uh, banelings actually going to be stopped by my hellions and that supply depot as uh, I decided to cancel that uh, extra wall off as I figured that my opponent's baneling bus did fail as he only sent in five banelings and didn't do much else of anything. I'm going to be sending my hellions after the, any streaming forces that might be going in that location, deciding to try my hand at micro and just micro around uh, any more zerglings that might be coming. And at this point, I'm going to be real rebuilding that supply depot here as my opponent moves to build more banelings and build spine crawlers as he saturates his natural. At this point, at the, we'll check the unit counting station. You'll see my opponent is ahead of me in economy, as he did have his uh, natural up, uh, natural expansion up before I even uh, I did. I'm going to be sending a, a mass, a massive amount of Hellions. Going to be actually trying to do some economic damage and uh, uh, even up the economy, as I do realize that. Uh, my opponent uh, is probably hurting after that failed bus and probably should go attack him. Uh, coming out with these uh, Zerglings but not being able to uh, take down my wave of Hellions as he tries to send Banelings after them. Uh, microing around a bit, going to be taking out those two Banelings that were trying to attack my explode on my Hellions. Uh, going to be coming out with his Queen which of course is very slow on creep. Uh, going to be actually going up his ramp and uh, trying to take out, uh, do some uh, drone roasting. Going to be roasting his his drones actually getting caught on this queen which was a bit of a uh, mistake there uh, going to be going for finally going for those uh, drones like trying to line them up and do some damage and I managed to take out a good chunk of them as we, I am now on even footing with my opponent in terms of economy as you can see in the unit counting station that I do have 23 uh, SCVs com and, and, and a meal compared to his 22 drones Bring up the uh, production tab again. At this point, I start moving out with tanks, which already have completed siege uh, siege mode research uh, siege mode tech. As I do go for another factory and a starport, and I do realize that I, as I'm only building Hellions and uh, and uh, huh, tanks at this point, uh, there might be some kind of mutilesque harass, and I need to prepare for that. Going to actually be taking out uh, one of the two. Uh, Overlord scouts that were in this location, and at this point, I figured that after um, finishing my starport, I would build a medevac to do some dropping in this location to roast even some more zerglings. Uh, going to be oh, forgetting to re rally, and these two hellions got caught in that location, trying to re rally them here. As I start building my command center over here, uh, going to be taking my natural finally. Uh, b um, Back in my opponent's base, just trying to macro up uh, as best as he can. Uh, taking uh, workers off this gas, which we're going to be going for some more minerals as um, he puts down a roach warren and an evolution chamber, probably just to go for those upgrades that uh, either, I think, carapace upgrades. Because I've seen uh, z my zergling opponents go for carapace upgrades on their ground forces before they're going for their attack. Uh, I'm still not sure if that's a new thing because I haven't been really paying attention to my uh, Zerg opponents and what uh, kind of upgrades uh, they're going for. As I was checking this location for any expansion, discovering there's nothing there, and why am I attacking these rocks? Bit of a mistake there. I don't. I did not mean to do that. Anyways, uh, going to be finishing up, finishing up my command center. We'll be turning that into an orbital as I speed through this a little bit. My opponent is actually starting to build uh, some more uh, spine crawlers, as I do think he did catch uh, that I was here. In this yes, he does see that blue flame in that location. Probably going to be uh, uh, coming out with some more defenses, as you can see right here. Uh, actually, this little mistake forced him to make 
make uh, more spine crawlers. So I guess that was a good mistake on my part. On my part. Anyways, I'm going to be coming out with those roaches as I do send my uh, hellion drop into this location. Uh, actually, going to be dropping a little bit away. Uh, I don't know why I always do this, but I probably should just go straight into the mineral line. Uh, going to be roasting some zerlings before I'm forced back by my opponent's roaches and this one queen. Uh, didn't really do that great of a job with that drop. But uh, I did force my opponent to pull back his forces and just stay contained on two bases for the time being. Uh, coming out with tanks, trying to siege up in this location, trying to take a take a center hold of uh, the middle of the map. Uh, going to be uh, putting a ring of turrets around my base, expecting some kind of mutilus caress. At this point, I probably should have gone. Um, uh, well, I should have realized that my opponent was probably delayed in tech as his baneling bus did fail and he had to uh, save up those minerals and those vespine for uh, banelings, of course, and reinforcements. Going to be coming out with that lair tech, turning that hatchery, hatchery into a lair. As I start moving out my tanks, I build uh, in preparation for a third for in the future. I do build uh, uh, supply depots just to guard these, this area with destructible rocks in case my opponent w would be flanking me from that location. As my opponent sent out a drone and actually started his uh, third expansion this, into this location, I pre since he saw me here, he probably thought I was uh, in this area uh, waiting for him to uh, take this uh, expansion right here but uh, of course that's not the case as we can see here but uh, he didn't know that at the time and decided to put his hatchery down here coming out with even more hellions finally going to be going for my first two thors as I start my uh, level two weapons uh, yes weapons upgrade uh, just continuing to macro up as I speed through this a little bit. I actually uh, produced a Viking to go Overlord hunting since I didn't see Mutilus for quite some time. Uh, deciding to go uh, Overlord hunting, trying to set my uh, uh, opponent's um, supply count back a little bit, possibly even, uh, even uh, supply blocking him. Going to be uh, uh, coaxing these uh, these uh, Zerglings in, in uh, here with uh, my uh, Hellions going to be roasting a decent amount of them. There was a decent amount of Hellions, uh, of Zerglings right there, and deciding to try and bypass this me in this location. But I realized this as I do have control of this watchtower, destroying my opponent's forces as my uh, two Thors arrive in time. He does not have any more reinforcements, and as such, that's game as he is forced to leave. I was able to scout out my opponent's banelings and as such, instead of going for a 1-1-1, I decided to build another factory and put a reactor on it in preparation for that. I decided to try my hand at dealing with these baneling bus with my Hellions, and in this game I was successful. After my opponent's failed bailing bust, I sent a wave of Hellions into my opponent's main and natural and actually did some decent damage. Uh, I, w I managed to make it up into my opponent's main and roast some drones and therefore set his economy equal to mine as he did have a uh, an expansion up before I did and because I was able to get into his main, I was able to roast uh, those drones and uh, end up on equal footing with him in terms of our economy. Because of my constant Hellion harass, I was able to keep my opponent contained on two bases and did not allow him to macro up. I was on equal footing with him in terms of economy and I think it's because of this I was able to uh, win out the final engagement with my opponent as he didn't have enough forces. Well everyone, that does it for this game. If you like my commentary and videos, please subscribe to my channel. Also thumbs up and like my video. And as always, thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you on another episode of Let's Play with AK.